Hey, Ron Schwally here. Just want to say thanks for checking out my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up or subscribe right there. I appreciate you. Enjoy. So we talked about win-win uh, or win-lose. So some of the ways that we can um, make decisions is from our brain. And what's interesting is a lot of us are taught that our brain is the only way that we can make decisions. Now, uh, when I was 19 years old, I went to go study Kung Fu when I had a very, very powerful, very deep centered, energetic teacher. And one time what happened was he told me, and I'm, I'm a big 320 pound uh, pro wrestler at the time. And what he told, he's a short guy, he's maybe about like five, seven, five, six. And uh, what he said is, okay, so what I want you to do is I want you just to kind of give me a little push. So I went like this and I pushed him with my hand and all of a sudden he went back a couple of feet and then we're good to go. I should drop this down a little bit. So then what he did is he went like this. He went and then he bent his knees a little bit. He said, now go ahead and push me. And I'm, as my big ego kicks in, you know, I go like this, I take my hand then I go to push him and I can't move him. And I try to push him more. And then he's sitting there just smiling at me. I take two hands as 320 pounds trying to push over 150. I couldn't move him to the point that my feet were sliding backwards. And I go, okay, go ahead, Sifu. And tell me what happened. He's like, well, the first time I had my mind in my brain. I'm like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Our mind's always in our brain. But is it really? When we dream, where does our mind go? Okay, when we think about things, he said, the next time I put my mind in my feet, and I went, oh, pretending that I knew anything what he was talking about. And I didn't. But what started making sense is that the mind can go wherever we want. Everybody right now, think about your pinky toe on your right foot. Got it. Think about your right thumb. Got it. Think about your left ear. So notice whenever your mind goes to these different places. So consider if your mind can move around your body, your mind can also go other places. There's a Dr. Andrew Armour, uh, 1991 in Montreal, I believe, you can look it up, Armour, A-R-M-O-U-R. He actually discovered the heart has its own intrinsic intelligence system. The heart sends more information from the heart to the brain than the brain does to the heart. So you actually can think with your heart. So what you can do, oh, there's my buddy Scruffy. So it just happens on probably. So um, what you can do is that you can think with your heart. Can you open the door for him, honey? Thank you so much. So what you can do is you can think with your heart in addition to thinking with your mind. Uh, with with your brain and your mind ever have like a distraction and all of a sudden like your my, my mind just goes right there because my dog's barking and someone's dropping mail off so um what's it called so what happens is you think with your uh brain with your mind and your brain to make a decision like all of a sudden a kid comes up to you and the child says to you i don't love you now if you're a teacher and potentially might have had some trauma somebody in your life maybe didn't um you know love you or didn't express love to you or you don't know that you maybe even consider that you're not lovable which is actually something i experienced amazingly at a uh at a retreat uh, two weeks ago where I connected with my inner child and I connected with my inner bully and now they're one and peace has come over me because I also allowed things to move through my body. So when you move your mind, if the child looks at you and says, I don't love you, a teacher with their brain, the brain kicks in. Oh, this kid, how could you say that? You're being disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. And all the old inner trauma comes up. But if you for a second drop into your heart and the way you drop into your heart is by do taking a breath and pausing it's called the pattern interrupt if any of you have seen my behavior mastery workshop uh webinar that i did a couple of months ago the first part of my behavior system is a pattern interrupt where i teach you go Woof, meow hello everybody whatever it is to get all the kids attention if you haven't seen it uh go back into um hi mama's archives and you can totally get it so um, what happens is all of a sudden, if you maybe take a cold breath, a cold breath is when you take your tongue and you put it behind the back of your bottom teeth. Everyone try that. Take your tongue, put it behind the back of your bottom teeth like this. Okay. And uh, we, I did this in my Yogarati webinar that I did for uh, Hi Mom a couple months ago. And you take a big breath with your tongue behind the back of your bottom teeth like this. And then breathe out. And then same thing, tongue behind the back of your bottom teeth, breathe in and breathe out. 
So you notice that cooling sensation go over your mouth and it tricks your body to calming down. So all of a sudden this child goes, I don't love you. And you feel yourself and this thing coming up and your brain starts going, and you want to make this reaction. If you can go and just have your mind go into your heart and then ask your heart, your heart goes, they're just pushing your buttons. You know they love you. You're, you're like the champion. You're like a queen and a king to that child. You know they care about you. Then the teacher can go, and instead of having that reaction and making it win-lose, the teacher can make a choice or the director can make a choice and go win-win and go, oh, you know may not love me, but I love you so, so much. What do you want to work on today? What center do you want to go to? And the kid's like in their head like, all right, I'm going to tell my second grade brother that that didn't work because maybe they're just trying to push your buttons to get attention. The key is to be able to see and feel when your body changes. And listen, if one time a child says something to you and you have a response or reaction, win-win is not getting upset at yourself. Win-win is not going, I shouldn't have said this, I shouldn't have said that. Win-win is going, okay, next time this opportunity comes up, maybe I might consider dropping into my heart and then all of a sudden things might change, if that makes sense, okay? So that might be something that you can do. Notice when you're upset and then drop into your heart, make a decision. You can also drop into your gut you can drop into your gut and your gut goes oh you know this kid loves to push your buttons he's one of your alpha kids you know if you respond to them then it's not going to be beneficial maybe give them the power look top of the forehead sing a song to yourself your face goes emotionally blank the child sees no emotional response like if you go and then you go oh, let's go do something today and then all of a sudden the child responds to you differently Hey there, Ron Schwali here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope you got some value from it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. If you have kids and you want to check out my Yogarati YouTube channel, then check it out right over here. And over here, you're going to have some videos of some other content that will give you some tremendous value. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.